Why is consistency in golf so hard to get? Now in today's live lesson, which you're about to watch, you are gonna see Paul struggling with consistency. We gave him two things. The first thing was one of Tiger Woods' old backswing drills. And then the second drill was so simple, but it allowed him to play a draw straight away. So this is a great live lesson. We've got Andy on camera. Let's get started. All right, Paul, let's show you what's going on here. And this is really, really quite interesting because this golf swing has changed over the last couple of years because we've known Paul for a while. But let's have a look at what we're seeing here. So what we're seeing is a really nice body pivot to start. But what happens with Paul's golf swing is it just keeps going. It keeps, how are you doing this by the way? It's hurting me. This, this body is still going, the arms go, the arms go. So we've got this quite a large overswing. Now, as a result of doing this large overswing, what happens is you have a club face, which is really quite nice here. And we've worked at this before, obviously in Fix Your Slice. So the leading edge of the club is matching up quite well to the forearm, if anything, it's a little bit closed. But as you then continue to overswing, you start to cup this left wrist, which opens the club face, which makes it really easy then to swing down steep and over the top of the plane. Yeah. So my dream for you is, and anyone watching this who's got this same pattern in their golf swing is, let's see what just happens when we shorten it. If we can shorten it and keep the club face strong, hopefully the downswing then as a result will be a lot, a lot simpler for you. Okay. Grip's good, posture's good, it's athletic. Look at There's obviously a reason why he's, the grip is good. He's got the, <laughs> it's got, it is actually really good, isn't it? It is, it's perfect though, it's perfect. So all we're gonna say is, what would it be like if we were to stop, stop. around about here? Yeah, fine. Now, if you are somebody who overswings, Andy's smiling on camera because he knows that stopping there is gonna be incredibly difficult. But if you, were to think that, if you were to think that let's stop around about here, then, I'll, then, then I'll you'll probably be right. about where we want you. So just have a few swings and we'll keep it flowing okay. as well. Straight away, that when you flow, it's always going to want to go longer. Shorter. shorter. I'm going to keep shouting shorter. Shorter. <laughs> Trust me, Paul, this is you, everybody. 100% success rate with this. Nice. That was, that was about full, that was, by the way. And just, and just notice this, guys, on screen. When Paul's doing this, Paul, where do you feel like you're swinging now? Show I me where you're stopping here. Sh show me where you feel like it is. That's where you feel like it is, yeah. yeah? So now let's put that into a full motion. So see the difference in the feel and reel here, guys. That's, this is huge. Paul actually does things incredibly quickly as well. You'll see everything he does is, he's, you know, he's, he's, he gets a lot done, this man does. Do. Um, <laughs> the hard part will be to slow it down, but we're gonna have a go at that. It's not gonna be that natural for him, but let's just see if we can do that. So on this one, Paul, just go at like, feel oh. as though you're in slow motion. Feel as though you're watching your golf swing in slow motion and keep it shorter than that. <laughs> okay, hang on, have a breather. I'm gonna, I'm gonna intervene a little bit here. It's so hard, it really it is. is. I'm gonna put this at the top, yep. and it's gonna be about where you might hit it. Oh my. If okay. you overswing, and you're just not allowed to touch this now. I got you. Okay, I'll get it out of the way on the way through. Okay, don't touch it. <laughs> Only just touched it then. <laughs> shorter. Here we go, shorter, that was good. My All goodness. Right. Crazy, isn't it? It's absolutely isn't, isn't it? I mean, it, it, So our, our, the image in our mind is like, you know, we feel that we're about yeah. there, but the reality is it's still wanting to flip over. Yeah. In this instance here, maybe we need to understand and feel, so just swing back very slowly. Maybe we just need to feel like we're here. That's it. That's actually really nice. That's a really good move, actually, Andy. Kind of looks like it's uh, Tony that was Finau. Better. That was better. Tony Finau, John Rahm, think of those guys. <laughs> Oh, right, that's good. That was really good. That's really nice. He's just been on a Harley Davidson for three and a half thousand miles, so he's uh, he's at the end of a, a pretty epic trip. There you go, Route 66, all the way from Leamington Spa to have a golf lesson in California. Yep, that's the one. We always like best we can to keep the flow of things, but if you're doing this yourself, if you keep videoing yourself, and you go, oh my goodness, I'm still over swinging, we'll do the tiger drill. Take the club up to the top and stop, and then come down and hit the shot. And this is a drill that he made me do for hours upon hours and. We're out there sweating, it's 100 degrees out there. You were sweating. <laughs> so let's just have a go at doing that now. So I, I, I like to keep things flowing, both me and stop Andy will always like to do that. So swing to the top, stop, now go. Okay, good. Let's just do a few more of those. Good. That was perfect, by the way. Okay, I was, I was just about, check this out, I was just about to go, we've now got a drill that can guarantee that you can't overswing it. 
But on the last one, no, it. it did. But that's okay. That's but it okay. didn't stop. There was no pause there. There was. There we go. There, there was no pause oh, on the last stop. one. There we go. So pause and go. There you go. And what? And this is. And this is literally. I remember um, Tiger talking on the Golf Channel with Butch there. They were both a lot younger than they are now. And he said, Tiger. Tiger would say, Yeah, Butch would be there with the club, holding it there. And then I'd say, is it okay? And he said, no, carry on. He used to hate the drill. He used to hate stopping at the top. He used to hate working at it. Yeah. But it definitely made things a lot more simple as far as getting the arms to work in conjunction with the body. Uh, the body. So when I was demonstrating it earlier, it's really hard to overswing if it's really, really slow. Now, right. we obviously you don't want to hit a golf shot that no, slow. But if slow. you're fast, yeah, yeah. which you are, and we okay. said you do everything fast, it's easy to bounce the club almost. Maybe if we said, we're going to have some practice swings now slow where motion. we go Colin Morikawa, super, super slow in the backswing, and then we hit. Right. Have a go at that for me. Right. So we've got to keep it short, but we've got to keep it really slow. Good. There you go. That was nice. It gives you a chance to feel as well here, Paul. Mm. When, you, when you slow things down, this is a great message for you guys. It enables you to feel things when you go slow. When we go fast, it's, we don't feel much. Don't stop on this one. Super slow and super short. Really nice. That's golf swing. And it's good to hit shots this speed as well. It yeah. really is. So we're going to hit some. Right. But we're going to go, we're not going to worry too much about the strike. I want the shape of the swing yes. to be what we're focusing on here. Okay. Nice. nice. That was lovely. Super short. Nice. Good. All right, keep going. That's such a good golf shot, that is, isn't it? That was really nice. I'm like, going to hold it on that red flag. That felt quite good. Beautiful. Yeah, that was so really good. nice. Just, just brilliant. Right at the target line. Yeah. Hopefully now, by having this swing shorter, the club face now is managed. The club face is now in control. Yeah. Now we just need to organise the downswing a bit differently, maybe. Okay. But as a result of even doing this, me and Andy will always talk about this. If we can create one change, which has a knock-on effect of positive changes, that's what we're looking for when we change goal swings. Absolutely. That's why it should never really be about, you've got to do this, then you've got to do this, then you've got to do this, then you do this. It's like, do this, and then it will make everything else change. And we haven't got to talk about it all the time. Ultimately, if we were playing golf tomorrow, I'd ask Paul to play this way. I, I would say, if, we went, if we're going straight to the golf course now, I'd say, let's play golf this way, because I think it's going to be a better way than risking going long. Than in, in what way do you mean? You mean the speed? You mean the shortness? Or what, what do you I, mean? I think, I think I'd just get them doing the drill. I'd actually go straight with the drill. I think sometimes when you've got a drill like this that can fit so well as it is, you, you just want to be doing it a lot. Yeah. One more thing. Yeah. One more thing. I want to, I want to just keep going. Yeah. I think you can keep going as well, but I want to go one more. So what we're going to do, we know that you were swinging a little bit steep and a bit over the top. That's, yes. That movement is still there a little bit. Right. I'd like to see if we could get the club, there we go, do that. Because I think you know these things yeah. and you, Paul has digested a lot of information and knows where it should be, perhaps, or where we'd like it. Let's see if we can help you get there a little yeah. bit now, yeah? Okay. So we're going to, we must have a shorter backswing. Yeah. And I really like the tempo. Right. We're going to get this alignment stick. Yeah. This one here we have, let's say that was zero degrees, yeah? Okay. I'm going to pop this one in the ground at an angle at around about 10 degrees. Okay. I'm just going to stick it in the ground like that. You want me to aim oh, no. the I want you to way. swing over that on the way down. Where okay. No ball, no ball just yet. Oh, no we'll ball. just go practice swings, addressing the tee. So to the top and stop, and then swing out over that stick. Good, and again. So you almost want to feel as though your club head is going to be tracing up there. The ball is going to be almost flying up that angle as well. Do me a favor, hit the tee a few times when you do that, please. Oh, right, okay. Slow, 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 slow. Good. That's good. Okay, let's have a go. Let's have a go. Follow the stick. Okay, good. Tell me the ball flight. It's drawn. It's a draw. Started right, bent left. Beautiful. Yeah. What was that good. ball flight? It's coming round. What was it called again? A draw. A draw. Ooh. Gotta keep it short. Oh my That's goodness. the best shot you've hit today. Best shot I've seen today. Best shot today. Nice little draw, just left of the flag. Amazing. Really nice. <laughs> The man's a machine. Look at that. I mean, that one's that one hasn't left the target. 
I mean, look, Paul, that, that's phenomenal. It's one of the best we've done, I think that is, because that, and it's down to you, it really is. So let's just look at the difference. Let's go front on first of all. We can see the difference in the length of swing. The body pivot was always good, but the length of the swing now, it's a lot shorter. Yeah. But then as you move through to impact, now you can see that your lower body is shifting, it's engaged, it's moving more towards the target. Yeah. The shaft is length forward, maybe a little bit more, but your body is so much nearer now, the impact line that vertical line, you're so much closer to that, which just means that your ball striking is going to be better. If we flip it to down the line, we can see now down the line, because you're now what feels like a half swing to you, but a full swing, on plane, square club face, as you start the down swing now, club is glued to that plane line, and obviously on those shots there, just that, that was just kind of the finishing touches there. Mm. But you had to, and anyone doing this, if you've got a really long swing like this and you've got that face open, you have to shorten it first, control the face, and then, can start working at that. Fantastic. So, well, shake hands. That's an awkward moment. <laughs> Short leave we that messed in, that up. That we messed so that up, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> I won't hug and kiss you. Anyway. That's what you wanted to do. That's, That's what you wanted to do. do. Awesome work. Well Fantastic, done. Fantastic, man. Brilliant. So how would you like to have myself and Andy as your online golf coaches? If you do, then check out meandmygolf.com by clicking the link here or simply downloading the app. Now, Paul has just gone through our Pure Your Irons blueprint, our simple five-step system. And the best part is you can try that out for free as part of your free trial. So click that link or download the app and we'll see you there.